Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to use the pencil tool in the Pro Tools 8 score editor. Don't forget, you could always get in contact with me, Justin at wingsound.com, for any questions, comments, or ideas. So the pencil tool is right here. And you have some options. You have freehand, line, triangle, square, and random. And basically, line, triangle, square, and random are the same things. They basically do the same. So this is with line, as you can see, Here's triangle, square, and random. So it basically draws in the same thing, all of those line, triangle, square, and random. Basically do the same thing. You know, they don't do anything like as if you're drawing in automation data and you could get crazy with it. You can't do that here. So I usually just stick with freehand. So you can get in there and just draw your notes very easily wherever you need to put them. Or you could hold down option and the pencil turns into an eraser and you can delete those notes. Another thing you could do is you could click on a note, select it, and then the grabber tool pops up, and you could transpose that up, down, or left and right. And then what's really cool when you are drawing in those notes is if you look up here, it'll tell you exactly which note on the staff you're at. So if you know exactly which note you want to draw in, you could just look up there to find it precisely. Let's just say F3. Boom, right there, F3 drawn in, B3. Very easily, it's very good visually to see what's going on here. So what you have to keep in mind when you're drawing in your notes is the MIDI note duration. So I choose to follow grid just because it's easier for me, but you have your options to change it one bar, quarter note, half note, 16th note, etc. You have your options there. So, like I said, I choose to follow grid. So my grid is 164th. So whatever note you draw in is going to follow that grid. So it's going to be a 64th note, as you can see right there. So, you know, be cautious of when you're drawing in your notes because, it, you know, you might not want a 164th note. You might want a half note. So just change up your grid, and then you could draw in that half note. Or you can change it over here as well. In the MIDI note duration. Well, if you want a whole note, one bar is a whole note, and then you could draw in that whole note. So just be cautious on your grid and your MIDI note duration values so you know exactly which notes you're trying to draw in. You know, quarter note, half note, one bar, whole note, etc. 